Birds. I'm Tamawana. And I'm Jada. Today is October 17, 2022, and you're watching Mount Tahoma TV. Welcome back to New Year of Mount Home on TV. We hope that you all had a good summer and have a good school year. Hispanic Heritage Month, month ended last week. Our reporters Ash and Fabiola went out to talk to staff and students about their experience with Hispanic Heritage Month. I'm Ash. I'm here with a story today about Hispanic Heritage Month, so let's go to the interviews. Uh, Mr. Morales. The question today is, how do you feel about Hispanic Heritage Month? Um, so I think it's a great idea. I think having an opportunity to learn about and to get to know some Hispanic people that have done just amazing things for our country um, is very inspiring and also motivating, whether you're Hispanic or not. So yeah, I think it's a great idea. We asked our students about Hispanic Heritage Month and how they feel. It's a really good month because, you know, we're bringing light to how Hispanics, you know, what they did to America, or like, you know, all the good things that they do to America and stuff. So like, yeah, I really like it. Um, usually I go with my abuela and we cook, dance, and you know, just have family time. So yeah. I think it's a very important month for us to respect and everything because how the Hispanic people don't get treated well in America and how we need to recognize them more. And here are some things that Mr. Garcia had to say about Hispanic Heritage Month. I feel amazing about it, that we get to represent our culture, we get to represent our people, um, we have the best food, uh, we have the best dances, the best parties, and uh, yeah, it's awesome that we get to celebrate it and we're able to share it with uh, our community here. That's all for today from all our students and our staff. Thank you for telling us how you feel about Hispanic Heritage Month. We'll be having our first blood drive since 2020 this Wednesday, October 19th in the May Auditorium. 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. You can sign up during lunch at the Blood Drive table or sign up by scanning the QR codes on the Blood Drive posters hung up around the hallways. You need to be 16 years old and weigh more than 110 pounds. Students who are under 18 will need to have, will need to have their parents sign permission slips that can be found at the Blood Drive table during lunch or Mr. Acevedo's, Mr. Acevedo's room, room 2615. This week is Spirit Week and Homecoming. Let's head over to Mia and Ersili to learn more about it. No, Mount Tahoma is having a homecoming on October 22nd, which means having a bus and dancing with friends. Um, <laughs> Zamaya, <laughs> Layla, Amelia. And are you excited about homecoming and a severe week? Um, yes, because like, uh, so even though I haven't, nobody asked me a homecoming, but yeah, I'm still excited, you know. Are you excited? Yes, sir. <laughs> are you? Yeah, I'm excited. On October 17th, as you don't even go here, wear a gear from another school. 18th is twin day, match with someone. On October 19th is color wars. Seniors are black, uh, juniors are red, and sophomores are white, and freshmen are yellow. On October 20th is decade day. Wear throwbacks from any decade. On October 21st is um, um, soccer mom versus B dad. Wear any of those. Well, that's it for today. Back to the desk. Thank you, Mia and Araceli. Today we have many sports events going on. Let's hear more about them from Ronald. Football team plays a home game against Stadium at 5 p.m. The volleyball team plays a home game against Lincoln at 7 p.m. That's it for today. Back to the desk. Well, that is it for today's news. Thanks for tuning in. Again, I'm Tamawana. And I'm Jada. Subscribe to us on YouTube to never miss out on a story. Once a T-bird, always a T-bird. Have a great day.